Jackson died in Chicago on January 27, 1972 at Little Company of Mary Hospital in Evergreen Park, Illinois, of heart failure and diabetes complications. Two cities paid tribute, Chicago and New Orleans. Beginning in Chicago, outside the Greater Salem Baptist Church, 50,000 people filed silently past her mahogany, glass-topped coffin in final tribute to the Queen of Gospel Song. The next day, as many people who could 6,000 or more filled every seat and stood along the walls of the city's public concert hall, the Airy Crown Theater of McCormick Place, for a two-hour funeral service. Her pastor, Rev. Leon Jenkins, Mayor Richard J. Daly, and Mrs. Coretta Scott King eulogized her during the Chicago funeral as, a friend proud, black and beautiful. Sammy Davis, Jr. and Ella Fitzgerald paid their respects. Joseph H. Jackson, president of the National Baptist Convention, USA, Inc., delivered the eulogy at the Chicago funeral. Aretha Franklin closed the Chicago Rites with a moving rendition of, Precious Lord, Take My Hand. Three days later, a thousand miles away, the scene repeated itself, again the long lines, again the silent tribute, again the thousands filling the Great Hall of the Rivergate Convention Center in downtown New Orleans this time. Mayor Moon Landrew and Louisiana Governor John J. McKee then joined gospel singer Bessie Griffin. Dick Gregory praised Jackson's moral force as the main reason for her success. Lural sang, Just a Closer Walk With Thee. The funeral cortege of 24 limousines drove slowly past her childhood place of worship, Mound. Moria Baptist Church, where her recordings played through loudspeakers. The procession made its way to Providence Memorial Park in Materi, Louisiana, where she was entombed. Despite the inscription of her birth year on her gravestone as 1912, she was actually born in 1911. Among her surviving relatives are her great-nephews, NBA basketball player Danny Granger and soul artist Scotty Granger.